Today, we are going to riff a little bit on the difference between mindset work and toxic positivity. And I think that there is a lot of what can be toxic positivity in the fertility world, especially in, in the health world, especially in the mental health world, especially. And there's a really big difference between doing the work to improve your mindset and falling into that trap or feeling like people around you are promoting this sort of like toxic positivity. So this kind of came up yesterday actually with a client of mine and, and she was telling me and I was congratulating her on her acknowledging all of the amazing mindset work that she has done for herself over the last couple of months and really just finally getting into a place of being like, you know, I trust my body. I'm going to get pregnant and I can't control the timeline. And I was like, yes. And it was the way it was more about the way she said it. She wasn't convincing herself. She wasn't, you know, saying what she thought she needed to say. She wasn't trying to put on this mask. She truly believed it. And that's something that I hope for everyone going along this journey to come to a place where you too can feel that like, I know this is going to happen and, and acknowledge that it might not always feel that way. And that's truly the difference between working on your mindset and that toxic positivity piece. So when I talk about toxic positivity, what that really looks like is like people saying, you know, like, stop stressing about it. It'll, it'll happen when it happens. You know, if you have a child that like, well, at least you have one, you know, already, um, things of that nature can, you know, be well meaning in their brains, <laughs> but might not be interpreted as well as, um, I mean, not that they need to be interpreted. There's statements that place this sort of like, you should be happy mentality on you throughout your journey that doesn't need to be there. Whereas when we flip it around and we actually work on the mindset and we work on the subconscious beliefs and we work on, you know, not just how you're feeling in your fertility journey, but how you're actually feeling in your entire life, truthfully, that's where things really start to shift for you. And this is something, you know, I personally focus a lot on like in the business space for, for me, that's what fits into the season of life that I'm in, in terms of working on my limiting beliefs and subconscious beliefs and things that might be, you know, energetically at play in terms of maybe holding me back from hitting certain goals or reaching certain goals. And I've always kind of struggled with this like, I'll be perfect. I'm, I'm always very honest with you guys, I feel. And I'll be perfectly honest that I've always really struggled with how do I pull in this concept of manifestation that I really believe in and hold and practice and learn about and experiment with in my life? How do I take those principles and work them into the fertility journey? in a way that isn't toxic and isn't toxic positivity and in a way that doesn't discount from all the other things you know you need to do but helps with that and this truly is what the mindset work is especially for me so if you've been hanging out you know for any length of time you'll know that inside for toady confidence method which is how you can work with me and my team I have three pillar for Toady success system. So we work on the foundational health. We really lay the groundwork. We work then on hormone optimization, not just on estrogen or progesterone, but on your thyroid, your cortisol, your insulin, your testosterone, all the things. And then the third pillar is mindset. So we aren't just talking about manifesting babies. We aren't just talking about making sure that you feel good about yourself or 
make sure you have the tools to process through the difficult emotions and the difficult days and the two week wait and the day one of your period, like the shitty hard days are going to happen and they're going to come. And the evolution of your mindset is really about building the toolkit to help you manage through and process those harder days and emotions versus just trying to either plow through them, just trying to like tuck them away or really feeling like they are decimating your entire world for any length of time. That's what the beauty of the mindset work is, is it gives you the tools and strategies that you need to help you work through those tough emotions versus you just trying to put on a brave face, smile through it, be grateful, not worry about it, stop stressing about it. That's not working on your mindset. Like your day one coming and you being like, it's okay, everything's going to be okay, isn't working on your mindset. It truly comes from allowing yourself to feel and process through the hard parts and believe that there is more to come and believe that you are on the right path and believe that you are setting yourself up for success. And that belief in terms of the path and the success comes from two places. One is the mindset. It's actually rooting down that belief that there is more and that your baby is coming. And It's also having a legitimate plan and legitimate guidance and actually knowing I am doing all of the things I should be doing. I am, you know, putting the puzzle pieces together versus continuing to kind of flounder around, not do anything at all, or not even really know if what you're doing is helping. So the mindset and the like physical aspects of how to balance your body and balance your hormones and reduce inflammation and improve your egg quality and your sperm quality and your timing and understand your cycle. All of that is still important. And we want to work on this aspect of mindfulness and the to build your toolkit to help you get through all of the things and, and the, you know, the epic roller coaster, because that's honestly what it is. It is a roller coaster that nobody wanted to get on. Um, and sometimes you get on and you're off real quick and you're like, Oh, thank God that's over. And sometimes you get on and it's years and we need you to have the stamina to handle the roller coaster for as long as you deem necessary. You get to decide when you're getting on and off. You get to decide what that looks like for you. Um, and I think the really important part is you need to work on that piece if you want to continue forward and not allow everything to blow up because it's so, it's a lot. You know, it, this is not an easy journey for a lot of women, unfortunate couples, unfortunately, um, and having some support, having your toolkit, having someone looking at your case and being like, okay, let's, you know, look at this angle. Let's look at this angle. It relieves a little bit of that pressure that we can put on ourselves. So I wanted this one to be just really short and sweet. I think that we hear and we try to have this like everything is fine. Everything is cool. Like it's okay. We'll just try again and not allow ourselves to really feel and not really be properly set up to actually plant those seeds of, you know, mindfulness in a, in a healthy way. So I'm hoping in the comments of this video, after you give it a watch, if you're checking out the replay, we can maybe have a little bit of discussion about what that looks like for you. You know, what does 
mindset work mean to you? What do you do that helps you process through the hard days? Because there's lots of women in the group that are probably listening to this video and going, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and then there's probably women in this group that have been like, yes, this is my jam. I work on this all the time. So let's share for those of you who do feel like you have done some mindset work that has helped with you for you or helped for you, helped you <laughs> in any capacity Let's start a little bit of a thread of what that looks like for you. I'll be in the comments. Make sure you tag me so that I see it. And we can have a little bit more of a discussion around how do we navigate this piece? How do we process and feel and still practice gratitude in a way that makes sense for you? So hopefully this was helpful. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your Friday um, and I'll see you all next week. Take care.